then I got in here and it was like, I felt black again because that heat was turned all the way up. It's too hard now, see my blue heart. We went there with no separate showers. We would use all this bunch of dudes showering together. That shit looked like jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got to redo it. Yeah. All right, so you guys know me. Um, I'm Abigail, go by Adam. Whatever you guys can call me. I'm a graduating senior. So you guys can hear about me. Can hold it down, set this out. But that's enough about me. We're here to talk about Mr. Wayne's and Fifty Shades of Black today, okay? So we all know that you have a movie coming out. It's supposed to be hilarious. So what inspired you to make this film? Um, I don't know. I, I, I just, uh, I don't know. I've seen people reading the book, and I was just like, what is this? And little white women curled up, reading this, and all hot, and all on the plane. And I was like, what you read it? So I went and I read the book, and I was just like, this is corny. <laughs> You know, it's cool for the light experience, but what if this was happening? What if Christian Ray was black and he was rich, but you know how he got his money, he was like shady, it could be like drug dealing or some shit, and he was really bad in bed. So that's kind of like the premise, and then I was thinking, you know, the stuff he was doing in the movie, is like you could do some of that to a black room, but some of that, he ain't gonna be able to you, you, you got like three or four slaps from what you go, It's funny, but um, I was at Howard and Living Color was on the air. And I was in Living Color's little brother. And I, I, I literally tried to be discreet and not be my own way. But it only took like a week and everybody was like, that's the way you boy, you know? And so um, I decided, my brothers wanted me to come out to be on Living Color. And I decided I didn't want to. I decided that going to college was important for me to be my own man, to have my own opinion, to, to learn and gather um, and, and, and my own uh, point of view and perspective. And so I decided to stay in Howard for two years to, to uh, really learn to be a man. And I had my friends here and I had my own life. And I wanted to be Marlon before I was a man. I just wanted to be Marlon. And so Howard was a part of the Marlon journey and one that I carried with me. And it was like honestly some of the best years of my life. And I made a lot of great friends and still my friends to this day. They still work with me, one heads up my, my um, reality, my an alternative uh, uh, production company. And you know, my other one does my music on my, my films and you know, we, we, we keep it a tight unit. In the midst of all the like, national headlines, all about the racial, you know, just racial injustice, how, what advice would you give a Howard student to pushing through this sort of if the cop put you over, make a run. Can't be a white friend with you at all times. Let him do the talking. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. No, but like, um, she said, I'm serious, though. He comes to jokes. But, like, if there was anything you would tell someone that's feeling discouraged about, like, how society is going to the future progressing, what's one thing that you would tell them to keep this kind of focused in? Uh, that, you know, just be one of those people that are determined to change the world. And, it's, and maybe you'll find a hundred more, a uh, thousand more like you, and they're determined too, and you will bring about change. You know, when Martin Luther King decided, him and his boys, with Abernathy and all those guys decided to go march, they were young men. They didn't know exactly what they were doing, they just had a purpose. And that purpose, you know, if it was for that purpose, America wouldn't be the way America is now. And even though it's, it's, it's terrible right now. It was a lot worse back then. So keep moving forward, stay positive, don't get caught up in the nonsense, don't let them make you 
out to be what they're looking for. You be something better. And you do it through change, you do it through march, you do it through peace, and you do it through purpose. She stepped in like she was about to sing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> University to promote you know his movie um, Fifty Shades of Black this man is very funny he has no filter <laughs> and as you can see everybody had a great time um, he wasn't there for long but you know what it's all right I got an autograph poster I tried to uh, run up and get a picture or a video or something with him I wanted him to say black girls YouTube too and everybody crushed my dreams because they pushed me out the way and I'm so little I just went flying <laughs> but today is definitely a better day than yesterday so I'm happy but yeah so moral of the story is come to Howard University because famous wonderful people have been through here and they come back and they give back 